Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising a weekly general reading for the upcoming week. And uh, just give me a moment, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and see what uh, experiences you are to have for the duration of that week. So uh, the first card for you, uh, that is going to be the Seven of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the next one, which stands as the Devil card. Furthermore, we do have uh, the King of Cups. And uh, the last one here uh, for you, that is to be uh, the Chariot card. Uh, it's quite pretty, it's quite interesting <clears throat> in regards to the card that we do have. Um, so the general topic of the week here that you are to experience it is that toward a certain enterprise um, or kind of like a situation that you are tackling or trying to undertake currently, uh, you are to understand that either you need help or through help you're going to make your life much easier. And even better, uh, a, a certain help is going to come at, uh, at your behalf. Okay, and uh, the the whole premises of the situation itself uh, kind of tells us or tells you, Virgo, that there is no real need to deny the helping hand that comes uh, uh, that comes at your disposal, and uh, the helping hand itself is going to be pretty sincere, innocent, and pure. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that it's not going to request anything in return at least not at the current stage. And even if it does request anything in return, it's not gonna cost you anything to give what they are requesting in return, even that you are to be uh, kind of um, pleased that they are asking for a such thing in return. Uh, in any case, the week itself, uh, it will be more of a week like a praying. Under, uh, and under praying, I mean where you uh, imagine a lion that stalks their uh, their victim and they are praying in the tall grass for the right moment to happen uh, or to take place so they can pounce and get their their meal if you will and that is exactly how the week is gonna go for you it is where you are to sit tight and quiet being ready to act when the uh, right circumstances in the right timing are present uh, are present for you so you can diminish the possibility for any kind of mistake that may happen either into your career or either into your relationship. Um, the devil into the second position, it's kind of baffling that we do have it within this uh, within this particular reading. That card there, I, it usually symbolizes that you are to be uh, pretty much, uh, you are to feel pretty much oppressed by exterior, by exterior influences and by exterior forces. No different than your boss is uh, oppressing you about doing something that you are not 
feeling comfortable doing or that you think that now it's not the best time doing it. In any case, they use their power to make you do it anyway. So having the seven of wands go into the first position, it kind of speaks that should you be keen to the timing and to the circumstances, you are to be able to deflect the negative impact and the negative influences of those kind of oppressions that you may experience either career-wise or a either relationship-wise as well. And with the helping hand that comes at your disposal, uh, proceeding forward with uh, your personal matters and your personal endeavors, which as well are a business projects also that may reside within your within the framework of your career because they are, you know, personal because from them it depends uh, are you going to stay at work or not, right? <clears throat> but in any case, with that particular helping hand, uh, it, like I said, at the very least, you're going to make your life quite easier. Um, the other way how we can look at those cards, because you are all, you are all unique and there is more than one manifestation that can take place, but I'm trying to cover uh, in these readings uh, the most plausible one in regards to the tarot cards, is that, um, how can I say, you may think that you do have your goldfish around and suddenly from a side the goldfish is actually presented to you. I don't know how to explain it. It is like you think that you have your blessing, but actually your blessing is yet to come around throughout this week. That is a pretty, you know, exponential uh, interpretation of the cards and exhilarating interpretation of the cards. But the King of Cups as well into the third position may appear as a person who gives you an, an awesome offer or either a helping hand, but we saw how the helping hand is going to unfold for you. But also it could be a, a very, very good offer. Now, if that's the case, regardless of what that offer is going to be, either to make a relationship with that guy or a girl, you know, or either to establish a business or that could be as well a job proposition, regardless. <clears throat> Uh, it will be based on your personality. What I mean is that that person offers you that because they see that you do worth their time, that you do worth their emotions, that you do worth their while, okay? So that is not something that comes out of generosity, that is not something that has any um, surreptitious or nefarious intentions, nor that it has some a biased expectations. It is just that person uh, thinks based on their balanced decisions that you do worth to be given a shot in whatever enterprise awaits you uh, with them moving forward in the uh, in the week itself and uh, how the week ends here it is with the, the chariot card so depending on what kind of a uh, premises you are undergo uh, throughout the week itself the chariot it's the chariot speaks of that by the end of the week you are going to harness the luck of your hard work and you are to be recognized as a force to be reckoned with, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Uh, the chariot in that particular case associates one with the great pride based on the achievements that they that they have uh, that they have accomplished because it's a final card. And also it reminds one of uh, how strong they truly are for it is that the, the chariot itself points that whatever stands in front of you at the end of the week, you are going to be able to overcome it should you, be, uh, should you arm yourself with your determination and an iron will as well. So that being said, it does look like as a... Um, as a week that you are to really show what you are made of and that you truly kind of like, how can I say, your, not demands, but your statements of what you are capable of are truly what they are supported with the, with the right cover and with the right determination. I don't know how to, uh, how to say it in English. Uh, but in any case, Virgo, that's, uh, that week you should expect something good to be offered to you either through a good offer or through a helping hand and that will help you to overcome or make your life easier moving in uh, moving in the future so that being said guys this was your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and um, we may see each other around until then bye